Jean. Is that, is that really? Why, yes, Lucifer, that is him. But he's been dead for months now. The only reason why the body hasn't decayed is because time is really fucked up within the pocket dimension, so... No, but... No. I'm... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, come on, Lucifer. There's no use dwelling on the past. <laughs> now come on, let's get to move on. We have much work to do. Primarily because we're on a time crunch. You... Huh? I will never forgive you for this. Huh? Is he okay? Because I thought seeing this would make him happier since, you know, we took out his only love rifle. Yeah, this generation is really fucking weird, I'm not gonna lie to ya. I know, tell me about it. Those fucking bastards. Now come on, kid. We've been patient enough with you. Now we have to go and achieve your destiny and remove that sword from your... Wait, what the... Wait, he stepped out of the dimension, so... Oh, shit. Adam, watch out! Huh? What do you mean? He stepped out of the dimension! That means he can... You fucking bastards! Huh. And now that I think about it, I probably should have um, warned him about, you know, the sword being used in here. Um, since, you know, I am the one who built it and I never told him he can use it in here, uh... Yeah, I'm for sure getting yelled at tonight. <sighs> and you guys better enjoy this fucking fight scene, cause this is gonna set us so back for in our plans, god damn it. I get lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think all the time how close it starts to end up on the break. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my wings. Now I'm falling, and I can't see the ground. Can we stop this gravity? It keeps bringing me down. Today is your day to face justice. For everyone you've hurt! Get ready to pay for everything you've taken from me. Uh, Lucifer, we, we could talk about this. Where the hell did all this power come from? Wait, did he? No. <sighs> Please, give me mercy. Mercy, huh? Mercy? You're asking for mercy? <sighs> well, in my defense... In defense of what? <sighs> You're asking for mercy? You've taken so much from me. My family, my home, my friends, and you're the one asking for mercy. 
You're not getting any mercy today. Or ever again. Okay. I locked into his location, and this is where he is. Okay. The thing about it. Lucifer only access, you know, the hidden powers of the sword that can, you know, destroy universes. You know, Adam is probably still... Probably, uh, uh, okay, um... You're so not gonna be okay, Adam. <laughs> oh, um, but, you know, knowing my grandson, he's probably gonna, you know, he's probably kind-hearted, you know, um, he's, he's probably done, he's not gonna torture him or... I'm not done with you yet. This is for my home! This is for my family! Dear God! Show him a little mercy! Even though we've literally, um, done all of that, oh, um... And this is for my friends! Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should go help him, uh... Yep, this is my home. Honestly, it's much nicer than I thought, considering. Actually, I read some of Gemma's books, and their depiction of hell is kinda terrifying. Like, the only thing that's scary here are the lava lakes, but demons are fireproof, so it's not like they really- Wait, what was that? It came from over there. Why do I have a feeling that's him? No mercy! Yep. <sighs> One final blow should do the trick. It's almost. You're not gonna hurt anybody any longer. I think you were right, Lucifer. Wait, but how? One final blow should do the trick. Wait, but where did my power go? I was just overpowering you. Did you ever wonder why I didn't fight back? Do you really think it was because I was afraid of you? Wait, what? What are you... I just needed to give you time to run out of power so that you wouldn't be a nuisance anymore. Oh god! Didn't you ever wonder why these past couple months you've had short outbursts of incredible power just like you did now? Wait, that was because of the- Of course it was because of the sword! What did you think? You just became powerful for a couple minutes just because whatever? No. The souls bounded to that sword. They react to whenever you get sad, angry, or just as you saw now, saw your dead best friend on the ground. And when that happens, they release a soul-bounded energy to power you up. And well, if I fought back, you'd probably try harder and I would die. That's why I didn't fight back. But I just needed to give you time to run out of power. Because again, it's only a short burst of power. And whenever you gain too confident, or just like now, become a total douche, poof, the power's gone. And now, nothing's gonna stop me from getting that. Loose! Wait, hold up. Was that- Ah, perfect timing. Lucifer. Yeah? I mean the first. Lucifer the first. Get things ready. 
I think I know the perfect way to strip that sword from his back. Wait, what do you plan on? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on it. We're gonna break that child. What the? Wait, what, what happened? Your final hour has begun. Wait, what do you mean by that? And, wait, wh what is that? Wait, it looks like a... No. <laughs> An angelic prison. Wait, it also has a the, the angel symbol? Wait, why do you need... Just look on the inside, smartass. Huh? What could possibly be in... No! You bastard! At first you took away Jean. No, you're not gonna take away Luna. Or Pablo. Or, actually, wait. Those are the assassins. I, I don't really care about them, but still, Luna and Pablo! And, well, Gemma, I guess. Well, she's kind of an asshole, but I guess she's kind of my friend, but... Please, just don't hurt them. Let them go. They have nothing to do with this. What do you want? Just please. Those three are the only ones they have left. Just let them go. <laughs> oh, trust me. We have full intentions of letting them go under one condition. And if you don't obligate to this condition, let's just say <laughs> they're not gonna have a fun time. Or in a more literal and technical stance. <laughs> Fine, what is it? Anything! Just let them go! This is not their fight, it's ours! They have nothing to do with it! Well, Lucifer, if you want to see them live to see another day, you'll have to give us that. Sword. And you only got a bomb. Let me just see my imaginary watch. Now to decide. The... The sword? Come on! I have to save my son! Don't worry, Luz, I'm coming. I'm coming to fix your goddamn mess. Hello, this is Luz's dad, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to subscribe and leave a like if you guys enjoyed and comment down below because, you know, retro, I, I don't because I honestly don't give a shit, but retro reads every single comment. Trust me, I've seen him before. He's, he's been there for literal hours. Oh, it's, a, it's a hellhole in there. And that says something, literally. But yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to subscribe and leave a like and watch out for retro's new episodes every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. If you don't watch them, I'll drag you down here with me. Well, I gotta go save my son's ass, cause you know, that kid gets into so much goddamn trouble. I'll see you guys next time, gotta go before the entire fucking world collapses. See you guys next time, stay retro. Later.